Hello everyone, this is part two of part one on how to root your HTC One or M7 for the international people. And the first, uh, this is the, the second the second part we're gonna show how to, well, I'm gonna show how to install recovery, clockwork uh, recovery touch, and uh, ROM. So right now you're gonna download this file, it's in the description. You're gonna go to your computer. You go to local disk C right here. ADB, that's the folder we created on the first part, and recovery. Okay, so we had we put a recovery in the ADB folder. Now we're gonna f shut uh, do, go into our, in the bootloader mode on our phone. So shut off your phone, hold down the volume button, volume down, and power, and then bootloader mode should show up. Connect your USB and hit fast boot. Then what you want to do is go to CMD, CD, ADB. Then you go fast boot, flash, recovery. Dot recovery space recovery. The IMG. Enter. Right now it's sending writing. Okay, I finish. So right now it flashed uh, successfully. Meaning that my bootloader is on my bootloader was unlocked on the first part, and I should have recovery right now. So okay on on your phone, what you what you want to do is uh it says fastbook USB, so you're just gonna hit uh power on bootloader. Then you're gonna go down with volume down to recovery, hit power. Now it should say entering recovery. You just wait. Right here it says there. Reco uh, Clockwork mod recovery has been installed successfully. Now remember we're gonna install a new ROM, so make sure you back up your data and it's gonna be a new white ROM, like clean, clean ROM. So what you wanna do is just let's see. We're gonna wipe all data. Yes. It's gonna clean everything. And wipe catch partition. So right now I already have my ROM here, and at the same time I'm gonna be showing you how to install install it right now. Okay, so now we have the recovery install. Uh, we need to get our ROM. So right now, for now, the ROM that I recommend is uh, Maximus Seven. Which he his uh, feature is that everything's stocked. He removed all his app, all the at uh, they call it crapware or uh, you know all the those apps that don't you really don't use from AT and T uh, or the bloatware. They he removed them and one of his feature one of the features I like about him is that he 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 put back the menu button on the back button. So you can uh, double tap the back button and you'll get a menu and you will have those black black bar with three dots on on the middle for all the for the apps. So I recommend this one for now. Uh, so you download his ROM uh, that I'll, I'll provide the link on the description. Uh, this is ROM right now. Uh, well, for now, I think he updated, but this is the one I'm using right now. And you're, what you're gonna do is just download it like this, drag and drop it to to the to the SD card. I will say. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to install from SD card. You choose the first one, choose zip from SD card, and you scroll down until you find the the Maxima Seven. It says install, yes. You just wait until it loads. This says you're about to flash uh, Maxima 7, yeah, next. I agree. Next. Next. And yeah, you can perform a full wipe, you should. Uh, three dot removal. If you want to remove the three dots, then just get your menu buttons. 
uh, you can remove apps if you want I'm just gonna click next just for the video and next and that's it uh, well we're not done actually so right now it's installing a ROM and when it's done it usually you reboot and it works but not for the HTC one and I'm gonna show you another another thing that you need to do to make this phone uh, boot up so you don't I mean if you just uh, boot, boot it up and it will just freeze the it will stay frozen there you you won't get your phone working unless you uh, you go to recovery and do it again but uh, we're not done yet so when this when this is done what you're gonna do is turn off your phone and go to bootloader again and we're gonna do another fast boot uh, writing so let, let, let's just wait reboot uh, no so we're back to recovery we're gonna go back oh whoops go back and you're gonna go to reboot system now okay so right now the phone's not gonna boot so so just don't don't worry just hold your power button for for a second just keep holding it okay right there bootloader mode we're gonna connect our USB cable so I gotta put this down okay then just hit the power button it says fast boot now okay now in the computer since you already installed the ROM what you're gonna have to do is you see Maximus right here you're gonna take this boot IMG and drag it to the desktop close this we go to our ADB folder local disk C ADB we drag the boot IMG here move and replace then we have this already in IDB uh, you go to CMD you go CD ADB then you do fast boot flash boot boot space boot IMG sending sending right here. okay okay now it's done and now you can just uh, now you can reboot your phone and it should load so we're you can go to your phone and just go bootloader and we can hit see you can hit reboot and just wait your phone should boot now yeah just give it a uh, two minutes it starts booting up uh, don't get scared this this phone is really hard to break it uh, even if it doesn't boot you, you can still make it boot uh, but if you want to store a different ROM you have to do, do the same process uh, take out the boot IMG and put it on the folder flash it and flash the ROM now we're just waiting until it boots minutes the phone booted uh, it starts off let's put next right. so this is practically what you get out the box you just gotta set it up it, everything comes working already and it's uh, pretty much it let's see super user right here
Uh, right now you got a rooted HTC one if you did everything right. Remember allowed. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you like it. I'll try my best to make this as easy.